Hi, so today I'm gonna be doing another headset review and this is probably gonna be my last because I don't need all these headsets um, <laughs> but yeah, I was contacted by a company called Jiku, that's J-E-E COO and yeah, they reached out to ask if I was interested in reviewing their headset and it looked like a pretty decent one. I looked on their Amazon page for it and it looked like it would be a good one. So I said yes. So here we are. So <laughs> here is the box. Here's what it looks like. And um, so this is going to be a white headset. I already have <laughs> a black pair and my purple cat ears so this is yet another color <laughs> that i have i don't know if i'm gonna be keeping all of them we'll see but we are gonna see how this compares and um yeah how this is in general So on the side here it says 2.4g wireless up to 10 hours virtual 7.1 surround sound Shifting RGB lights, so it also has lights on the side here on the cup, so that's cool. Removable microphone, comfortable fit. Okay, I'm excited. Um, this is also wireless. I have one wired and one wireless, so this is going to be my second wireless one. So, let's open it up. Alrighty, so there's a little, I guess, yeah, manual in here. Cool. So here it is. It's all wrapped up in bubble wrap to protect it. Alright. Ooh, okay. These look really nice, honestly, from like first glance. The cups especially feel like really soft. Hmm, okay. And this is similar to pretty much most headsets now. There's an on button, volume button, uh, mic mute button, um, and then the volume down button. And I assume this is a charging port. That's the mic connector, I guess. Oh no, that's the aux cord. This, oh, okay. So there's like a little silicone pad here that covers that and it says mic on it. So that must be for the mic. All right, that's cool. Let me just throw these on and see how they feel. Oop, I gotta do that. They feel pretty comfy. My concern, as usual, is that I usually wear glasses. So if I wear a headset for too long, it usually starts to like hurt my head because it pushes on the arms of my glasses so that uh, obviously is not something I'll be able to tell from just opening it up and letting it sit for a second but I am curious to see how it uh, feels like long term when I'm you know using it to stream or play a game or whatever so yeah all right um let's see okay this is cool there's a little tag here that says 18 month warrant free replacement so that's cool so if anything happens to the headset within 18 months theoretically you can get a free replacement so that's cool um and then there's this little bag that i assume has the other accessories so okay so this is the mic the detachable mic and okay and this must be the charger and this is the aux cable for when you do want to use it to like plug it in um whether that's your computer or your phone or something and what is this oh this is the usb receiver okay cool so that's pretty straightforward just like any wireless headset um would be i guess Oh, that's funny and comes with a little like plastic cover for the huh that's that's funny because it already has one so I'm not sure why they needed to include that piece but okay sure um i guess you could use it for any other usb cables you have to cover that if you want to all right let me plug this mic in see how that looks and feels it's interesting it's got like a little like ditch in it <laughs> like that 
uh, it kind of like nests in. That's kind of cool. Alrighty. Okay, so I am going to skim through the manual a little bit, uh, plug it in. I'm not sure if this comes charged. I assume it probably doesn't. Okay, actually, so I did just turn it on and um, I guess it does... Oh, okay. Yeah, so it does um, come with at least some charge. So here you can kind of see the like rainbow swirl. I honestly really, really love that. Anything with the rainbow LED in it, I'm already obsessed with. Um, yeah, I really, really love that. It kind of like swirls in like a circle. Um, I don't know if you can see it well on there, but yeah, it's uh, color changing on both cups. I love that. So I'm actually curious on my other wireless one, if I used the aux cable with it, it would actually turn the light off and uh, you can't use the light while using the cable. So I'm curious if it's the same on this one. Let's see. Ah looks like it is okay so i guess that just must be like the standard now i really hope they figure out how to change that in the future because it would be awesome to be able to use this while it's color changing but i guess i also like understand that you know that helps like save battery and stuff like that um other than that i'm not sure why they wouldn't make that a feature but okay so that is the same as my other wireless one so yeah if you plug this in the leds turn off okay good to know i do like that this cable theoretically you can use this on like any other headset too and it comes with the little like volume is that what that is oh no that's not a i thought it was going to be like one of those volume uh controllers like on apple connectors i guess but this is something else hold on let me see i wonder if it's like the on button no okay um i'm gonna read the manual and get back to you <laughs> okay so the very first thing is uh when you hit the on button and the lights turn on if you hit it again it turns the leds off so that's kind of cool if you i guess for whatever reason wouldn't want them on then you could do that but to turn it on you need to like press and hold so yeah. Okay, so I'm also noticing when you plug in the aux cable, it says functions of all buttons on headset will become disabled. So that's kind of strange. So that means these buttons are not usable while this is plugged in. Um, don't know how I feel about that. I feel like it's pretty important to use the volume buttons at least while that is plugged in. But I guess at the same time, if you're like plugging it into your phone, you would just use the phone volume button. So like, I guess that kind of makes sense, but I don't know. Uh, I thought that was interesting. And then it also says on wired mode, detachable mic on the headset is disabled, but the inline mic is available. So I'm not quite sure what that means. I'm pretty sure there, that the only mic on there is that detachable mic. Okay, interesting. Okay, so I just connected the receiver to my computer and had a video play to check how the sound is and honestly it sounds pretty dang good so far it's very clear the volume buttons work just fine as they should so yeah no complaints there so far so now the next thing that i want to do i think is check the mic so i'm gonna connect to my obs and see how it works on there and then i'm gonna compare it to my um mic that i use for streaming now so i'm gonna do that Okay, so this is the GQ G80 headset and I am currently testing the mic. Here is the mic that comes with it, a little bit closer, a little bit farther. That looks like it picks it up pretty well. Okay, now let's compare it to my uh, Fifine mic. Okay, so this is my Fifine mic. It is right here, as you can see. Um, it's not right next to my face, but it doesn't need to be. It looks like the levels are similar as to this one. Um, so yeah, testing, testing, white Fifine mic versus the Jiku headset mic. Testing, testing, one, two. Okay, so now I want to compare my Jiku headset to my purple kitty ears uh, Samic headset. So here is the Jiku headset and, and here is the... Purple Atomic Kitty Ears headset. Testing, testing. Okay, so I actually did want to compare it to my Fifine headset, which is separate from 
my uh, standalone Fifine mic. So here is Jiku again, and here is the Fifine headset mic. Testing one, two, one, two, three, testing, testing, five fine headset. Now back to the Jiku headset mic. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Okay, I'm gonna redo this test because it came out weird the first time. So this is the Jiku headset, and now I'm going to test my Samic Purple Ears headset. Okay, so the problem was that I couldn't have both of them plugged in. It messed with the sound for some reason, but only on this one, not on the other one, because um, now it works fine. So that's weird, but good to know, I guess. Okay, so. I just went ahead and tested the mics and did comparisons for all of the mics I currently have. So the mic on this isn't the best. You're going to hear what it sounds like, especially compared to my Fifine mics, both the standalone and the headset mic are much better quality than this one. So there's that. I think this is a good like kind of um, starter headset maybe but the mic on this isn't fantastic i think if i was like just starting out and i got this headset i would also probably get like a cheaper standalone mic and just use this as you know just to hear uh music or games or whatever it is i'm listening to um i wouldn't be using the mic on this i think now the sound on this like i said before is really good i don't really have too many complaints there it does sound pretty clear so in terms of that i think they definitely put more effort into the actual sound that comes out of this versus the mic this is not the best option for using the mic i will say that but i don't have any really like huge complaints about it really like the mic is usable it's not bad you can use it if you need to and i also will point out that this set up on my computer a lot faster than the other wireless one i have so i will give it that also um you know points <laughs> points on that it was really quick i just plugged in the receiver and it took like i don't know a few seconds and it said it's all ready to use so love that that's definitely awesome because i uh, have had issues before with it uh not connecting or it being really slow and i have to like figure out what's going on if it's the headset or my computer or what usually it's just the headset needs more time to connect but this one didn't really have any issues with that so props on that yeah i think overall it's a pretty good option the mic like i said is not my favorite but it is usable really the main problem that i noticed with it is uh it's kind of low which um i had my slider my gain turned up all the way so that is a concern i mean you can bring it closer or farther you know so like that will affect it a little bit and then the other thing is i noticed some like noise in the background and um, I don't think I hear any of that on my other, uh, my Fifine mics. So that's another thing. That's something else, I guess, that they can pay attention to. But yeah, I would say the only thing they need to improve on is the mic on this. Everything else works pretty well. So just so you know the full name, this is the Jiku G80 headset. And right now I just checked, it is uh, $42, $43 on Amazon. Um, so not very expensive and could be a really good option for like a first kind of starter headset Even though the mic isn't fantastic, it'll get the job done I think even if you do want to use it for like streaming and gaming and stuff like that and it does connect quickly Which is awesome. So I guess to finish it out more or less. I think it's a pretty great product for the price I think you get um, a decent amount of quality really the mic is the only thing that concerns me but it is not the worst that I've heard so there's that um, it's not the worst it's not the best it's just kind of you know it's in the middle but yeah I like the rainbow like LED stuff going on on the side the cups feel really really nice and soft we will see maybe i'll leave a note uh, or a comment in the under the video afterwards uh, after i do use it for a little bit and see if it does hurt my head with my glasses um so i'll let you know but yeah i think it's cute uh it's a nice design the white is nice um the gray this is like padded too it's not there's like just a little bit of cushion it's not a lot but you know it's something and yeah these are just pretty straightforward they don't go very far though i will say that so i don't know i have a pretty small head so i don't really need to worry about that usually but 
maybe someone with a bigger head, these might not fit them as well. And yeah, they're pretty flexible, so yeah. I think this is a good product if you did want to try it out. And I will leave a link, of course, in my description to it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was insightful and in letting you pick your future headset. And um, leave me a comment below what uh, your thoughts are on this. Or if you've seen my videos, how you think it compares to the other headsets I have. And like I said, this is probably gonna be my last headset video. I'm not really interested in doing any more, honestly. But yeah, I mainly do art kind of stuff, arts, crafts, fashion, uh, dye my hair. I really need to do that hella soon. Um, so if you're into any of that, please check out my videos. And if you like it, then subscribe. And yeah, I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.